everyone, Dave here, and uh, when I was on the East Coast this summer, uh, at one point we stopped at Atomic Books, which is the favorite haunt of John Waters, and by the checkout counter, I found these. Mystery Science Theater trading cards. Naturally, I had to buy two packs of these, and uh, I am going to open them now on camera. Because that's something YouTube does sometimes, apparently. Let's see what's in them. Behold, the official Mystery Science Theater trading cards. Complete with Joel era poster on the front, despite also having a Netflix logo on the back. So that implies to me that we could get cards from every era of the show, which I would not complain about. But we also might get uh, special cards, which means that there would be fewer than 10 in this pack, apparently. So. I'm not picky about number of cards, I'm just curious to see what's inside them. Let's do this. This is a very unnatural angle to hold things at as I sit behind this camera. Oh, it looks like uh, I could uh, keep track of all the ones I have with the inside of the wrapper. That would have been good to know before I tore it. And Series 2 is coming soon. so. I don't know how seriously I'm going to collect all these, I just thought it was fun to find these as an impulse buy. But let's see what we got. Right off the bat, we got Frank and Dr. F uh, with an invention exchange. Number 314, the high formal scuba flipper. Good times, good times. We got Joel and the bots looking very depressed at a party from Castle of Fu Manchu, of course. We have another invention exchange. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of inv invention exchange cards uh, over the course of this whole series. And then we have an actual riff. You know, the thing you see the show for from Robot Holocaust. This is card number 10. I can write my own joke for this picture. Maybe I will someday, but most likely I won't. And then we have the uh, Crawling Eye DVD poster. It's a good little poster there and for an iconic episode of the series. And the DVD menu. This is a good way to uh, commemorate all the work Shout Factory put on the DVDs now that very few people even get the DVDs anymore because everybody just buys them digitally or watches them on Netflix. And bongi banga kabanga. All the sound effects, of course. And more Frank and Dr. F. So far, it's been a pretty heavily Pretty heavy Joel era in this set, which, you know, that's fun. It's, it's a classic era of the show, but I was uh, kind of hoping to get more from across the spectrum. But we do have Dr. Erdhart here. That's uh, fun. We've got Jay Elvis right here in the cotton candy that screams invention exchange. So that is a fun piece of the show's lore. And look at the turquoise jumpsuit. That's how you know they're really going back for these. <laughs> Uh, before Joel even got the red jumpsuit. I like how these invention exchange cards basically just include the full dialogue of the invention exchange. So there's, you know, the, the face hugger reference and I believe that's Mike. Was that Mike who played the baby? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen that one. So we may have Mike on one of these cards, even though it's not a Mike era Mike appearance. Um, let us see what we have in pack number two. Um, nah, I'm, I'm just gonna rip it. I, I'm not really keeping track of this. More invention exchange cards, as we can see. So yeah, that was the the blow dry invention exchange. Then we've got the spit take. From Daddy O. So some of these are just general episode cards, but still showing from a host segment rather than uh, from the movie itself. I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by uh, 
the selection of cards they have here. It, it is, um, it is interesting. We are still, it might just be, series one might be all Joel era, so we might be waiting for series two to get to Mike era. It might be, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing no research on this, which is rare for me before a video, because usually I love to compulsively research everything unimportant, but I'm just doing this quickly for fun because I found these on a whim. But it looks like, I'm guessing uh, series one is mostly gonna be stuff from the first couple of seasons, so I wonder if series two is going to be like the Comedy Central Mike years, season three can, or series three can be the sci-fi years, and uh, series four can be the Netflix years. Maybe, if they keep the cards going. Who even knows? But um, I think it's fun that these exist. I, I think uh, any bit of Mystery Science Theater merch that exists is a lot of fun to me. I do not see myself collecting these much further. Um, if I stumble across them, I might buy some more on a whim, but I don't see myself seeking these out. I'm not really planning on trading these or anything. I just like supporting Mystery Science Theater when I encounter it in the wild. So uh, if I stumble across more Mystery Science Theater merch just at random, especially if it costs $2.50, which is, you know, roughly a percent of what one of the DVD sets costs, um, it, it, it's fun to me that this exists, but I don't see myself really digging hard and being a card collector, even for my favorite show of all time. But... I will probably put these cards somewhere where I can enjoy them, and uh, that somewhere might just be in a drawer in my desk somewhere. But hey, I'm glad I bought these. I'm gonna watch some Mystery Science Theater now.